Harrison was being used as the dummy runner. And that's the reason for the penalty. Referees as hot on that as any infringement in this tournament at the moment. Players running in front of the ball carrier, Scott. Absolutely, but what's more interesting is Wayne Barnes, you heard him say on the rest mic there that it was all about the contact. Graham Morrison took contact on an Argentinian jersey and as a result, it's considered blocking. And Argentina kicked the ball up towards the halfway line. Well, defeat for Scotland won't be the end of the world tonight, but this has already got the feel of a knockout match. Yeah, you'll see here the... Pressure on the scrum, Lawson takes, Morrison goes in, hits Contepomi, and as a result of blocking, Argentina clear the lines. Mario Ledesma, the 38-year-old, an Argentine lineup that's been flawless so far, 100%, and it remains so. Now 22 out of 22 in this World Cup. Test for Max Evans and his orange boots. Lawson to Richie Gray, who needs a performance tonight. Came into this World Cup with so much hope and expectation. Bit like Scotland, not really fired yet. Maybe tonight is the night. This is the Argentine fly half, Santiago Fernandez. Comfortably enough take for Kelly Brown. Patterson doesn't find touch, gathered in by Farias Cabezio. Again, Fernandez goes high and chases his own ball. One back by Scotland. That's their own 10 metre line. This is Rory Jackson. Taken in again by the towering Richie Gray, part of a winning tour to Argentina last year without actually playing in the test matches. Graham Morrison missed the cup four years ago, but very much involved today. Ball was lost forward. Interesting to see Felipe Contepomi having a little bit of attention to his ribs in the warm-up, Scott. Fact that wouldn't have gone unnoticed by Scotland. Yeah, very much so. We thought that the first uh, contact or running area from Scotland as Graham Morrison takes the ball. That man there, we thought he was going to be running at Contepomi first of all. Contepomi just for the, the knock-on, but ultimately the ribs will will be tested severely tonight. That was what took him off early off against England. Touch. Touch. Scotland put down another scrum. Again, it's Brown from the base of that scrum. Jackson, yep. the ball will come down with the raindrops onto the head of Martin Rodriguez who dealt with all the pressure very well this is Lament 59th cap today used in midfield as an effective line breaker in the Six Nations keen to get involved a little bit more on the wing this evening Jackson again runs into Contepomi This is Ross Ford, the hooker. Evans, held up by Roddy Roncero, and then he lost the ball in possession. And Contepomi, fairly unscientifically, just wallops the ball downfield. Sometimes in science, it goes your way, and that's what happened then. Well, he's got a box full, full of tricks. This was Evans. Now, sometimes Scotland, they make the line break, but then they lose the possession. We know all about the Argentines, how they actually scamper that possession. And what about that for a bit of skill? Five minutes gone. Promising start. Gray goes high. Oh, the set he was trying to make life difficult for him. He was doing so illegally. It's always a tricky business knowing when to challenge a player in the air. Yeah, very much so. Albacete up there challenging on the ball. One of my standout players in the 2007 World Cup. Now down in Toulouse, a great ball handler, a great workhorse of a second row. Skillful at it as well. There he was, just interfering a little bit too much with Gray as the two of them were airborne. One of the Pumas ever present here in New Zealand so far.
second row in the Paris quarter-final against Scotland four years ago. Goes long, finds Hamilton. Lawson, Scotland not hanging around here. Morrison feeding Nick De Luca, his midfield partner. On the Argentine 10-metre line. It's been a much brighter start from Richie Gray. This is Barkley. Jacobson goes over the top to try and free the ball and it wasn't to be freed because there were blue and white shirts illegally stopping it. Yeah, Richie Gray involved in that movement, his ball carrying far better, he's getting across the gain line, it means that the second phase possession that's been recycled by Scotland is they can play front foot rugby. Nick DeLuca as well and good hands there and now Scotland with the first opportunity of a penalty. Juan Manuel... Guizamon in the back row with Farias Cabello and Juan Martin Fernandez Lobe. And they at the moment are really being tested by a, a Scottish attack that looks eager. Yeah, very much so. But Fernandez Lobe, you can see him going in there. He's just straight down on the ball. You've got to stay on your feet. Perfect. Happiness in the Scotland camp from Sean Lamont. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Just have reassurance that we spoke about. If you're an old traditionalist and you enjoy a, a little bit of Murrayfield silence for the kicker, you're going to be disappointed tonight. It's noisy whenever someone's trying to splice Argentine posts. Yeah, it is sometimes excessive, but it won't rattle this fella. Watch his concentration now. Can he get the clockwork going? Not on this occasion, just drifts wide. Two. Remains scoreless. Scotland have had plenty of time to think about this game and its implications. It's 11 days now since that wrestle in the rain against Georgia. Late surge saw them home against Romania. And then the win against the Georgians. It's not been pretty so far, but the opening phases in this game have been encouraging. Lawson, the captain tonight, to Jackson, taken on by Ford. He's held up by Manuel Carissa. <laughs> Kelly Brown takes it into contact. Patterson, on to Barkley, tackled by Bosch. Jackson needs to be careful because he ran straight into Albacete, twisted his body to ensure it remained in Scottish possession. Gray. Jackson getting rather gingerly back to his feet. Ford again. Loose ball, tied it up by Lamont. This is De Luca twisting and turning. Scotland were always struggling from the moment they lost possession. Yeah, when you when you put one man in like that, Nick to look on the break. They're a great breakdown team. They're competitive, Argentina, and it's their ball handling ability matched with some of the physicality that enables them to get behind you, upset that possession, and then break out. They're a good footballing team. As you see here, they flood the contact area. Look at the players yeah, that come in to, over yeah. the top. Roncero always yeah. fighting for the ball. Roncero's on his feet. He's allowed to do that. And what you've got to do, if you're a Scotsman, you've got to drive over on Sir, clear the player out, and that gives you clean ball. Scotland have been working with a, with a clever rucking machine on the way here. It keeps bodies low and horizontal. Need a bit more of that. Line out, tipped off the top by Carissa. But it wasn't straight. Scotland have a reprieve. Well, you can see the rain coming down, actually. It's, uh, it's certainly getting wetter. It was chucking it down in Wellington. It then cleared up this afternoon, yeah, no, but fine. that's the rain back on again. Crouch! It wouldn't be for the, the World Cup for Scotland if it wasn't raining. Touch! Pause! 
like England. They've not had a roof to play under. And now they've got a problem with um, an early engagement at the scrum. So the free kick taken quickly by Argentina. This is Juan Manuel Leguizamon. Lays it back for Vagaggio, who can be a real handful. He served his warning at this tournament and in the matches leading up to it. Roncero drives them to within six metres. By some distance, Scotland's most anxious moment so far. Vagaggio spins it wide to Contopomi. Vagaggio waits for Barkley to exit. Fernandez Lobe again to Roncero. Vagaggio the scrum half, ordering his troops around. Feeling of a drop goal coming up here. It was a very, very ugly one from Martin Rodriguez. Yeah, I just felt that Rodriguez took his eye off the ball as he dropped it. It was such an easy opportunity. I think he was just too lazy. His mind wasn't on it. But a threat there from Argentina. Play on. Lamont. Taking a risk in his own 22. And he very nearely paid for it. Contopomi couldn't gather. We see the kind of game Scotland want to play, Scott. They're keen to give it some air. It's what they think they do best. It's what they've trained all the months leading up to this tournament for, but in the right places, surely. Yeah, it, it is. It's all about the confidence as well. And if they'd strung a few more passes, fair enough. I think it's a territory game, though. You look at the weather, it's just... That's the rain just gone off a little bit. So they, they want to play this white game. We've seen Rory Jackson take the ball flat up on the line, the running coming in from Nick DeLuca. So they are confident in the execution. It's how they manage to... Polish off their performance. Relax, relax, six. Relax, say more. Argentina slipped to ninth in the world together. rankings behind Scotland after losing to England. Closer, okay, Lowest they've been since the table was introduced back in 2003. But they did recover impressively to see off Romania, scoring 40 odd points in Invercargill, six tries. Out of the blocks very quickly that day, but a much more even start here in Wellington. Now, Scotland's scrum so far have been put under pressure keep an eye keep an eye on this one don't dummy don't go i know he didn't go though big night for the scottish three jeff cross filling a shirt that might have been occupied by you and murray today if it wasn't a sunday murray had such a an important imposing game against georgia very much so he was the rock and the pillar a lot have been talked about that georgian eight but he was outstanding, back to his best, back to the performance of the Lions a couple of years ago. It's cross against Roncero on this near side, but it was the far side that attracted the attention of Wayne Barnes, Juan Fagaggio and Alan Jacobson. They're a nuggety bunch, aren't they? Real experience in that front row, but the engagement just not right. Well, but neither Fagaggio or Jacobson could get any grip Touch. on wet, tight shirts. Engage. Penalty goes against Fagaggio. Again, on the on the far side of that scrum. Your body is pointing towards me. And he has to be pointing towards his opposite number. Absolutely. Coming in at an angle there. So Ledesma has words alongside him. So Scotland can clear the lines through Jackson and start, start to concentrate on the set piece. So important. Two good throws so far. One into Richie Gray, the other one to Hamilton. What are you saying? Yeah. Well, the Pumas yeah. like the work of um, young Juan Fagaggio on the far side. So much so that he is... Um, broken up the unholy trinity of Roncero, Ledesma and Celso who's on the bench tonight they like his promise but he's under some early pressure from Jacobson as Scotland try and get themselves out of their own half for the first time in a while Lamont almost does it Lawson to Jackson to Luca was tipped up then he was dragged out by Agusia 
It's a familiar tale, this, Scott. The breakdown is still an area of concern for Scott. Yeah, and twice with the same player. Nick DeLuca just guilty of taking the ball and trying to twist and turn before placing the ball. And that's allowing the Argentinians to get their hands in there and slow up that ball, which they're perfectly entitled to do.